Hey guys, welcome back to Friday Night Football, presented by Mudhead, sponsored by Grubhub. We are in some semi-final action here with Justin versus Pavin, and we're joining them in the first quarter with one minute and 31 seconds left. We've got, let me see, uh, Justin in the Jags uniforms, Pavin in the New England uniforms, and Pavin taken down Vic I think that was nope he did uh, just lose the ball there not an official sack third and ten I think actually I think we're gonna say that Justin is in the Patriots uniforms Pavin was wearing the uh, Jags last game I doubt he switched but I'm yeah was, uh, I'm pretty confident in this now for those that don't know Justin if you're thinking oh that's a new player Formerly known as Dad Yogurt Lurk, just recently signed with the Tenacity crew, and uh, he's rebranded, so switching off that brand. There we go. Nice pass on the sidelines. Does he get the feet down? He does get his feet down. Down all the way to the nine-yard line. What a pass and catch by Pavin on the sidelines to get him all the way down the nine-yard line here and is threatening. Uh, we've got Justin already up, though, 10-0. to zero. How did I miss that? Scored 10 points in the first quarter. It happens quickly, and another interception. Now, here we go. Justin, this is, this is something we've started to see from him. He has been so strong since coming into these Friday Night Football events. I mean, he can hang with anybody out there. He is an, he's an incredible player. I'm just going to say it. He is up there with some of the best out there right here, right now. Uh, that Legarrett Blunt coming up with the interception on the not Legarrett, um the other Blunt uh, defensive Blunt Steeler from the Steeler and uh, Mr. Mel himself with that big pick gets it out to the 13 yard line and we got Justin dropping back the pass nice little pitch and catch to to John Ross with that speed over the middle there. So Justin currently 16 and four in his first 20 Friday Night Football events. I'm going to say that that's probably up there with the best 20-game stretch of anybody in our competition so far. Although Clef currently sits at 28 and 9. Uh, on the other side, we got Pavin, who's six. Uh, he was six and six coming into tonight. So uh, Pavin hadn't had the best success in Friday Night Football after the Club Series Championship, but he's starting to settle in a little bit here in these usual tournaments and make the run that we've come to expect out of him. Very cool. We got ourselves another giveaway coming your way for the support this evening, for the chat this evening. What we're going to do is we've got a Grubhub keyword in the in chat. So go ahead and throw those Grubhub keywords in the chat right now. We're going to select a random winner, throw you some Grubhub codes out there. Look for those whispers. Look for that message from a one Mr. Rockets and Mudhead. Going to need some info and get that to you right away. So, again, we're picking that off of the keyword Grubhub in chat. Go ahead and spam chat, and we're selecting a winner now. Coming back into the game here, we've got Justin on offense. We've got a third and seven on the 30-yard line. Lamar Jackson dropping back to pass. Plenty of time. I mean, just a world of time. We've only got two All people rushing the right there. Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six guys blocking two guys. So that's definitely, I mean, are we still in this play? Is Finally this sends happening? the spy. Oh, and then he gets the sack. So patience there by Justin comes back to hurt him as uh, the spy unblocked gets the covered sack. Fourth down and 18 coming up for Justin, so that's the defensive stand that Pavin needed. Thanks for covering that. I just wanted to get a tweet out there. Uh, saying thanks to NorCal Navy Mike, who's just been awesome. TK tonight, awesome with all the subs. You guys have been amazing. Uh, and uh, you guys can follow us on Twitter, at Mutthead, at MuttGuru, at Zan underscore 4 p.m. Uh, and uh, make sure you guys are using that Twitter account because you're going to need it anyways, that Kahuna giveaway later tonight. That's what I'm saying. It's not, uh, you know, it's no big deal to just go make an account, uh, make a quick tweet, even if you're never going to use Twitter again. I'm kind of a Twitter guy myself. Zan's sitting here kind of a Twitter. Oh, another big sack by Justin getting in there and taking Mike Vick down for a big loss. Second and 17 now for Pavin. Big sack right there. Backs him up. Second and long. Think right here, if you're Justin, you need to keep pressuring the quarterback. Uh, you're using Pavon's <laughs> own defense against him, and he's actually struggling a little bit right here. Down 10 nothing early. He's going to call off the dogs. Three-man rush. Gives him that time. He's able to pick up most of that 17. It's going to be third down and short. 
Our guy Shaky uh, Moo Moo in the chat here said he had time to figure out the theory of relativity during that last play when the quarterback was back there just chilling for like five minutes. Zan, was that the longest play in Madden history? Yeah, that was pretty long right there. The two-man rush doesn't get home right. Uh, you, you typically don't block shit. He's got a blown coverage. Touchdown, Pavon. Unbelievable. Had all the space in the world right there. No defenders around for 10 yards. Takes it in for six. We got uh, Pavin back on the scoreboard, uh, seven to ten right now. Much more manageable situation going early into the second quarter. Theory of relativity: uh, there was no defender relative to that receiver right there. As the <laughs> wide open touchdown for Pavin gets him back into this ball game, and this is something that uh, we talk about it normally in the fourth quarter. But when you have that two possession lead and you give up the touchdown and it makes it a field goal game or less. Sometimes you see players go a little conservative. And I don't think right here, if you're Justin, you, you need to, you know, play it safe. You know, stay aggressive. Do what got you that 10-point lead. Keep doing what you've been doing, even though the last couple plays haven't gone your way. Yeah, like you said, keep playing your game. Don't get out of uh, what you came in planning to do tonight. It's early in the game. We've got four minutes left in the second quarter. Back to pass. Kind of, wow, um, somehow gets it over to Moss. we got the strip animation going in there. Not able to get it out. Moss holds on to the ball. We're at second and five now on the 32-yard line. Oh, look at that. We're doing a, a random number giveaway between zero and 100. Oh, my. Oh okay, my. let's see what we're doing here. Should, should I? Can I type a number? No, am I eligible? No, for you're not allowed to. No? Oh man, you got you got Grubhub tonight. Yeah, that's true. I've had. It's not. I shouldn't be hungry anymore. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so much KFC tonight, guys. Sleep sleep is uh, going to be really good tonight. That's all I know. <clears throat> Third down and seven coming up for Justin. Still a long way to go in this one, and I'll tell you who the most concerned observer is. That's got to be DNA Kings, who gets to watch Pavin. He gets to watch him for the second game in a row, so two games of scouting on Pavin. He's going to get a full game of scouting on Justin. Yeah, we said that we were talking about that during the break, how Canes is just sitting back, kicking back right now. He's got his feet up, uh, maybe enjoying a nice soft drink, maybe some KFC at home right now, and just scouting. Our guys right now, uh, he, of course, the winner of this game goes on to face Canes in the finals for tonight's Friday Night Football and takes home that K. How have we not had the number guessed yet? Um, haven't we? It looks like we've had every number between 0 and 100 already. This is a giveaway here. So a number between 0 and 100. I think it's 1 and 100, actually, but... Yeah, I'm I'm interested in this the giveaway now. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm sitting here watching the chat. Yeah, what I'm is this? I, I can't believe it hasn't been guessed. Oh, snap. What are the odds of this? Uh, it can't be right. Can't be right. We might be having te technical difficulties there. No worries, guys. We got plenty of stuff to give away tonight. I'm um, sharing the notes. We'll see that the next one uh, will be up and ready for you soon. We've got a pass out to Sharp who can't hang on to the ball. Takes a nice hit. Was also in double coverage right there. We're at first and ten. Turn over the ball now to uh, Pavin. Takes it back with possession on the 30 yard line. Thank you to Bravo for the sub. Much appreciated. Again, guys, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Twitch Prime. Take advantage of the free sub that you are given for linking your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. You don't have to give that sub to us, but make sure you're using it on somebody's content that you enjoy in the Twitch community. All right, last keyword giveaway from Grubhub was won by Nustin Jaster, and it has also been claimed. Congratulations, man. Enjoy. I don't think the random number giveaway is actually functioning, so you guys can stop doing those in the chat. Our apologies. Sometimes Nightbot gets a little wonky. All right, so what we're going to do in replacement of that Nightbot giveaway, we're going to do another keyword giveaway. So don't stop spamming. Just spam something different. We're going back to the Grubhub keyword giveaway in the chat. Go ahead and give us that, that Grubhub. Oh, keyword goo? All right, Rockets. Keyword, uh, keyword is goo. goo. Let's see the support the for the goo here in the chat. Ha, Shugs, my man. Thank you so much for the sub via Twitch Prime. So Shugs, one of the better players in our competitive community. Guys, it's keyword goo. G-U. G-U. 
for the next Grubhub giveaway. We're going to go ahead and spam those for a little while to make sure everybody gets uh, the spelling correct. I see some G-O-O's out there. I see some G-O-O-O's out there. I see some G-U-G-U's. Go ahead and type just G-U to be eligible for this keyword Grubhub giveaway. Tyree Kill bringing it out of the end zone on this return. Finds a little bit of space, but... I'd say either Ronnie Lott or Mr. Blunt out there grabbing those shoelaces and taking them down at the last second. Got to ask Shugs, who just subbed to the channel, did you sub from the police cruiser? I need to know. <laughs> okay, so we have a little correction from Rockets back there. This is actually for the Howie Long. I don't think anybody's going to be uh, too upset about us switching from oh, the Grubhub. I'm joining this giveaway, Yeah, too. right, to the Howie Long. Rockets just keeping me honest right there. Uh, keyword goo in the chat. Oh, my goodness. Tyreek Hill with a aggressive catch and double coverage for Justin. That's going to move him across midfield down to the Pavin 35-yard line. That Tyreek Hill has been a monster all game. Don't usually get used to seeing him jumping up over two defenders. That's what I was going to say. I've seen him beat a lot of people. I've seen him outrun a lot of people. I've seen him out route run a lot of people. Going up for the ag catch in traffic, I have not seen him do very much. Yeah, usually you get, you get the Randy Mosses, the Terrell Owens. You get all those guys that are big physical receivers downfield. Not typically your Tyreek Hill that you expect to make that grab. All right, guys, we've got a winner for the Howie Long. You can stop spamming the goo in the chat now. It's uh, Kachow35 is our winner. Watch out for that whisper, that DM from Mr. Rockets at Mudhead. It's going to be asking for your PSN, your Xbox gamer tag, or your origin ID for your PC. Get to bring that Howie Long onto your team tomorrow. Again, guys, with all the EA giveaways, make sure you give them two business days for the giveaway. Last time I checked, business is not open on a Saturday or a Sunday, so probably Tuesday, most likely. You don't know how. Oh, big my fumble God. There. Huge fumble. Tyreek Hill finally giving it up there after taking a couple nice hits on the nose. That's uh, That was a quick fumble. I don't know if he actually had possession of that before he fumbled the ball. That's a, that's a real-life situation. I think we would have gone uh, to the replay on that one, but this is Madden that we're playing tonight. So our guy, um, Pavin, keeps the ball, takes possession on the 30-yard line, and we've got one minute and 32 seconds to go left in the half. Good use of the challenge flag by Mutt Wizard TV in the chat. Amen. My guy, Tony Madden VTech with the sub via Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Tony. VTech and Shugs in here right now. Two of my favorite guys out there in the Madden and Mutt community. Shout out to you guys. Good seeing you. Thanks for coming through. Absolutely. Tony and I go way back. We played in uh, Compete Forever leagues together for years. Now Tony is one of the better competitive players in our community. Wow, what a hit on Julio Jones to knock that catch out of the hands right there. Taking it right on the head. Third and nine, 31-yard line. We're closing in on the end of the half here with a minute and seven seconds to go. Pavin in control with the ball right now, uh, trying to get it into Justin's side of the field and some point, more points on the board before we go into the half. Vic scrambling. He's going to dive out of bounds. Like it think they're going to spot him for the first down. Yes, they will give him that spot. Just reach the ball out past the pylon, or not the pylon, but the uh, the chains there for the first down. Yeah, that was a really nice use of the dive there to get that first down. You know, it's something I'm noticing here. We've uh, we're on the zero chill field, which is uh, pretty super cool. I don't know if anybody if anybody's joining Madden Ultimate Team late. It is our winter promotion. Lasted for most of the month of December. I say R like I still work at EA, um, but their winter promotion around the Christmas time and a lot of out of position players, Snow Beast, Ghosts of Madden Past, Ghosts of Madden Present, and Future. One of the cooler activations for Ultimate Team. Uh, so yeah, if you were wondering what that is, our guy. Has zero chill out there and has brought the zero chill field to the ball game. We got a flag here. It's going to be an encroachment call on the defense, and he'll move that up five yards. If you guys are tuning in late, wondering where some of the big ballers are in our tournament, Young Kiv was bounced in the round number two by Pavin, who you're watching right now on offense. Mike Skimbo, an early exit, lost 25 to 24 in round number one against Vilma. Other belt winners in our bracket tonight. We had uh, Kratobin, who lost to Keynes. Keynes is, of course, in our final matchup tonight. He'll be taking on the winner of this matchup. But uh, all the belt winners, we are left with Pavin. And then on the other hand, our former Friday Night Football champions, 
the only person representing that group is Kane. So something's got to give. It's either going to be a belt winner or a Friday night football winner tonight. Uh, definitely some great football tonight. Either both of those players have been playing lights out, not knowing which way this is going to go. We got Ed Reed coming in on the hot one for the sack right there. Second and 21. Big loss of yardage before the half here. Time is ticking. 46 seconds to go. Both teams have two timeouts on the 47-yard line uh, of the good guy's side of the field. So we got Vic scrambling back, rolling left. Fires a pass right out to number 81, Terrell Owens, who gets the first down out of bounds. Actually, I thought he, I thought we were in a different situation there. It's actually third and seven, my fault, on the 32-yard line. Buffalo Rob, thank you for that sub. Much appreciated, B-Rob. Thank you so much, man. So third down and seven here, uh, taking a look at some of these coverages. He's playing a makeshift cover six. That means cover two to one side. That's the solo receiver side with the safety help over the top. And then he's playing quarters coverage on the bunch side of the field where that safety is responsible for the inside fourth of the field. And then the corner on the bunch side of the field is responsible for the outside fourth. So that little combo coverage is sometimes tough for players to uh, attack. A lot of times you play the cover four to the bunch side because you're looking to stop that corner route. Little dump off there, double spin, and a juke. The sticks are real on Pavin's side of the ball right there. Squeezing out the extra couple yards before he takes it out of bounds. First and goal, eight-yard line, certainly threatening from Pavin right now. Tenacity Salty with the sub, Tier 1. Much appreciated, man. Welcome to the squad. I'll tell you what, that Tenacity crew, uh, they've come onto the scene here in Madden 19 and uh, made quite a name for themselves. Not only that, but they are probably the largest crew in the history of crews, even bigger than EMB. I think they have 94% of the total Madden playing community in that Tenacity crew, but all of them are very, very talented players. Vic rolled all the way out there for a second and goal down to the five-yard line. Looked like we might have gotten a hit stick there, but another dive with Vic to get out of bounds. A little uh, draw there up the middle. Got all the way to the one-yard line. Timeout by Pavin, third and goal. Speaking of tenacity, they have a representative right here in this matchup, Justin, a newest addition to tenacity, formerly known as DYL or Dad Yogurt Lurk. So Justin uh, just got into tenacity. I believe it was either today or yesterday. So another member of that up-and-coming crew. Uh, Guru Zan, do you guys get Twitch packs or anything for being announcers when you get back home and back on your systems? Let me call Twitch right now because I really like that idea, actually. Yeah, I, th I mean, I'm logged in right now and, <laughs> and watching, so I should have drops next no, time we, I log in. No, we will legit have drops when we get home because I'm logged in. We're watching uh, watching with you guys, along with you guys here, checking out the chat. Logged in under Mud Guru. Uh, Zan's in here, logged in under Zan. Uh, go throw my guy Zan a follow on o Twitch, Zan by the way, o. if you have not. Oh, Zan. Oh, I know, I, Zan. Oh. Yeah, I went back to, you know, the 12-year-old thing and added the same letter to the front and back. You didn't do the X's, at least. So, Somebody I mean, had that already. Oh, of course. Of course they did. So, you know, Touchdown, <laughs> Pavin, back of the end zone. Julio Jones getting a little nasty with it after the play there. Nice touchdown by Pavin. Going to go up 17-10 to 10 here with 10 seconds left in the second quarter before we go in the half. God, it feels good to put a touchdown on the board before you go in the locker room, doesn't it? Always need that score before half, especially when you get the ball coming out of half. That's the biggest momentum switch in the game. I had to look up who Iron Solomon was. Cause somebody said I look like him. Uh, <laughs> Does it work? Eh, eh, a little bit. He's his, got a better his beard. His beard He's is way better. Better neck, game, better neck beard game. <laughs> Damn, man, I can't win tonight with the beard compliments, man. I don't get any compliments on it. Yeah, they, somebody was saying I should donate some of mine. <laughs> and hand it over the table. That'd here. be a good look. The, Do we have any the super brown glue? neck beard and then the, the, the orange beard with it? It would be an interesting look for sure. Uh, we had a strip animation there, but no dice. Tyree Kill holds on to the ball for Justin. 24-yard uh, line with the return. He's got seven seconds left and one timeout. Let's see if we can do anything with those two uh, things in his pocket. Each pocket. He's got a timeout in one pocket, and he has got seven seconds in the other pocket. And it looks like there was a hole in either one of those pockets there. Uh, then slip through. We got one second left. He's got one more play before we go into the locker room here. Uh, maybe Justin can get a little luck. We'll see. Yeah, right here, you just got to be sure not to take a, a sack and fumble. Weirder things have happened, and it's going to be John Ross. He's not going to hold on to that. We're going to go to halftime. And like I said, those bookend scores are so important in competitive Madden. 
and they can switch the complexion of a ball game in a hurry. And we're going to see if Pavan can do just that. And I just did it again, Pavan. Pavan can do just that with a seven-point lead and the ball to start the second half. All right, we got a question here from Baldhead, Nut Garrett, or Long with Peppers opposite. That is a great question, my friend. Mm. That You're hitting on hard strings now asking me Garrett or Long. First of all, right move with Peppers on the other side of the ball. He has not moved. That tribute Peppers has not moved for me since I added him. Six foot seven. You can't teach six foot seven. He's like a morphed most feared player out there already. So good that you have him over there. You're hitting my hard strings. I want to say Garrett. I know Garrett. He's end game type of item. Not sure if that Howie Long's going to be hanging. Let me get back to you after I do a little testing because my heart's going to tell me Garrett right now. I'm going to say if you're a 4-3 guy, go with Long. If you're a 3-4 guy, I mean, Peppers can play either scheme. I would say I would say probably Garrett in a 3-4 over Long, but uh, – can't go wrong with any of those items, to be honest with you. Yeah, really, that's a great mix. Either Garrett or that long is going to do what you want him to over on the other side of the ball. you got so much uh, you can do with that Peppers, though. I have I cheese so hard, and I drop him back in the coverage with his six-foot frame. He's got some catch. He's got the speed. He's got the acceleration. Uh, it's pretty cheesy out there. Somebody said, can you explain how the Twitter thing works? Uh, yeah, so our Kahuna giveaway is a Twitter giveaway uh, every week, and you have to wait until the tournament is over so we know who won. It's a uh, Twitter giveaway in which we pull a tweet that is a congratulatory tweet to the winner, uh, and we give away all the items. If you guys are just tuning in tonight and you want to know what items you stand to win, uh, it was a slew of items tonight. I'll go ahead and i got to scroll up to – to let you guys know, but that is going to be still going here. Still scrolling, still, still scrolling. scrolling. Just copy and paste it and put it at the bottom for us, brother. Levante, David, Gino Atkins, Kevin Zeitler, the Howie Long that we were just talking about. We still have a Barry Sanders Ultimate Legend to give away tonight. All of those items together in one grant will be the Kahuna giveaway. So, <sighs> got so a lot to give away tonight. Nasty. I mean, I. I'm going to enter the Kahuna. I don't care. Rockets might yell at me, but I'm going to. You're not allowed to. I mean, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm not allowed to win. Am I allowed to enter? Yeah, right? Like, I'm just not allowed to win. Is that fair? Is that no, in your say? luck, you, you would win. And then no, that's what? true. I've had some serious pack luck lately. Just saying. Yeah, I saw that Jordan poll that you had the other day. Oh, boy, the goat came home for your boy. Ooh, anyway, back to football here. We got, pa uh, we got Pavin moving the ball third and one on the 41-yard line on Justin's side of the field. Sticking with this gun bunch offense is Pavin. And uh, the third and one, you got to be looking for the tight end in the quick flat. He passes up on the read and throws it to the hitch, and that was why – I mean, the, the, the flat was wide He's open. The hitch was covered. Ed Reed untouched back the other way. Touchdown, and I'll tell you what, Justin needed that. Gave up the score before halftime, and then the pick six by Ed Reed, my personal favorite strong safety in the game, because he can do just that after the interception. He is – dynamite with the ball in his hand yeah absolutely he, it just like real life right i mean absolutely the way he was he could get the ball and he was basically like a halfback out there with the jukes the spins and the absolute speed got away with a couple blockers right there helping him out to the end zone we've seen a lot of mr ed reed on the field tonight though yeah, uh, Chat's calling out the wide open halfback in the flat. Saw that myself. Ooh, Woodson trying to get the ball punched out here. Hangs on to it, though. And uh, Pavin starts on the 27-yard line. And a lot of times you sit at home and you see the reads, and I'll tell you this much, it's so much different when you're in the hot seat. When the money's on the line, sometimes <laughs> you get those horse blinders and you just see one guy. You don't yeah. look, you don't read the field the same as you do when, <laughs> yeah. you know, you're in your boxers, bag of Cheetos to your left, uh, you know, yep. I got a soda to the right. Absolutely. Rocket says that here, that his, his Twitch reads are 100% accurate. Mine are too, but, I, you know, it's not it's <laughs> not the same. I mean, ask the guys that played in the community championship last night. Yeah. It's a different game. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I got my commentator reads up here on point too. Now, can I do that in game? No. Nice catch, though, over the middle by Pavin right here, and he is just surgically uh, moving down the field here on the dri uh, on these past few drives. Besides that interception, the last play here, let's see if he can get back in his uh, groove and uh, put another seven on the board. Dog 73, go ask Alice. <laughs> I'm, I'm dropping. I'm 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 an old soul. I think I'm showing uh, my parents' influence on my music taste, huh? Yeah, it could be. Well, I mean, you want to go down the yellow brick road over the highway to the danger zone, so we know what <laughs> era you come from. Okay, so. <laughs> 
This is turning into one of the games of the night here, guys, though. Back and forth, sweaty, 17 to 7, or 17 to 17, all knotted up in the third quarter, coming down to the third quarter, two minute warning here. And uh, on the 45 yard line, Pavin dropping back with Vic as he has all night long under serious pressure and just throws it away. I know it's so tough to trust your running back to make that block, but I'll tell you this much when you run away, from that blitzer through that gap, you're putting yourself in a spot where it has to change your running back's angle to get the footwork to trigger that block animation. I think right there, if he would have just slid a little bit to his right, Mixon could have picked up that blitzer, but it's very, very tough. I mean, you don't trust your running backs a lot in pass protection. Yeah, and uh, Mixon is kind of a big body, so he's kind of a wider running back. Nice little catch over the middle crosser. Nice little spin. Uh, Mr. Moss making a nice little play there, getting the first down. First and 10 from the 29-yard line. Clock still ticking. Every, every timeout still on the board. Alex 9S says this is a lot of work for just 1K. I mean, it is. You got to go through the gauntlet. There's a, a hell of a lot of talent in these fields. But hey, at the end of the day, the tournament starts at 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 Eastern, and we're going to be done by 11, 1130. Thousand bucks for four hours. Not of a work. bad night's work. Not bad at all. I was going to say, you know, $250 an hour. Yeah, I do math. I do math. I mean, that's pretty good. I was told there'd be no math. I. I I queued up for that one and did it on a calculator earlier. So, <laughs> hey, the, we can see the chat already getting ready for the Kahuna in here. I see him starting to warm up a little bit, guys. We have a full game to go after this one. We're just we in got the a Barry final. Sanders giveaway first. I know, guys. They're getting excited though. It's a nice little run of players in that Kahuna tonight. Um, but we again, like we said, whoever wins this game goes on to face Canes in the finals for that K. Oh, it looked like he was going to lurk the wheel, and he stopped. Wow. You had no other route to lurk there if you're Justin. you got to stick with it. Yeah, Might have cost himself an interception right there. Somehow Moss came back in and grabbed that ball on the fly right there. Uh, saved saved what would look like an interception. Third and one. Clock taking one minute left to go. And pa Pavin is threatening. Going to go to that hitch route. Tell you what, a lot of these players give up those hitches. The vertical hook in a cover two defense will play a hitch route. Uh, they'll typically play a little bit behind it, which will give you that dice roll catch in traffic. But with a lot of these Tampa twos, you blitz those linebackers in the vertical hooks. If there's no vertical hook on the field, that's what you see. It's just a wide open pitch and catch. 12-yard line here, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. First and 10. Pavin dropping back the pass and wide, wide open. open in the corner of the end oh, zone. Oh, and he didn't get two feet <gasps> in. My Lord, I think that hit right at the end there probably swung his right leg out and wasn't able to bring it down inbounds. That was looking like a real deal six points right there. That was a good read by Pavin. Uh, you got to stay right there with it. It's demoralizing to got, not get two feet in, but that was the right read. He's got to get a block shed. So Yeah, if we were playing college football, that would have counted. Leonard with the sack, the uh, rookie all-pro linebacker on the Indianapolis Colts. How about the year that he had this year, Leonard? I mean, he's getting just gets the uh, the honors this year. Uh, one heck of an item in Ultimate Team as well. But come on, talk about coming on strong there. Blunt with the nasty hit on Julio to knock the ball out on the sidelines. Incomplete pass, fourth and 18. Let's see if we get field goal. Yeah, we do indeed get field goal formation out here, putting three on the board. Going to take the game to 20 to 17 in uh, Pavin's favor. I can see JP, a.k.a. DNA Kane, sitting at home, probably has that notepad out. Probably ordered some Grubhub while he's waiting here and uh, waiting on that to show up at the door here. It's going to be tough, right? Like, you can't just sit here and watch us eat and not be hungry, right? I mean, they've got, we, something's happening over there. They've got KFC. They've used Grubhub. I know our guys. They're out there tailgating with us tonight. Guys, remember, use code TOUCHDOWN for $10 off your first order of $15 or more on Grubhub. None of this would be possible without Grubhub and your support as well. Special KFC night here, so use your Grubhub on KFC and get yourself some tasty free Santa Bonds. I mean, they were the hit of the night, let me tell you. Yeah, I went out there. There was, like, none left. We had that, we had that plate in here that was the display plate, and I went out there. There was, one. There was like, one left. Thankfully, we had the display pay, plate. Remember when you thought we ordered too many of those Cinnabons? Remember? That was seems like so long ago now. It wasn't enough, come <laughs> to find out. All right, guys, throw up your fours in the chat here. We got one second left. 
I don't know if that looks like that, a four or not. I mean, yeah. there's four. There's four of those. There's but I'm pretty sure that's something. not a four. That, yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm I hope dead. it was worth it, good I'm, enough. I enjoyed dead. you, man. Okay, I'm dead. Nice, man. Throw it in the force. <laughs> you just reduced goo to snickering. I can't help it. I'm so immature. I'm so <laughs> immature. Uh, Third down and four here for <laughs> Justin. Back to pass. He's going to find the corner route. Nice read there. That's going to be John Ross. Just don't pass gas because I'll lose it for the rest of the night. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll be, I won't be able to call a game again. I, mean, I, just, I just snicker at that stuff. I can't help it. Oh, Lord. Too funny. First and 10. Great first down pass on that one here. We've got uh, Justin trying to make his way downfield here with the score. 20 to 17. We are indeed in the fourth quarter. John Ross going up in the air and getting one right there. Uh, I, you know, I say Ross. I actually meant uh, Randy Moss, as he is known to do. He's confusing me out there because he's got Ross and Moss both out there split on the edge. Uh, I'm sure it's a little confusing for the defense as well, and maybe that's the point. Yo, Randy Moss wide open over there. Great read. Or, excuse me, that's the Shannon Sharp tight end item out there in space with nobody around. He's very tough after the catch, too. We talked about Julio Jones and his ability to play through a little bit of contact. Sharp is the very same way. In fact, so much so that many players in the community will put the Energizer ability on him. So that way he can use the truck. He finishes that truck over the top of, you know, like a Deion Sanders out there in the flat, and then he gets a full stamina boost. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really liking that Energizer as well, but I'm, I'm kind of a fan of no stumble these days. You get back with uh, Never Stumble with Lamar Jackson back there. I've seen, I've had some great success with that. Uh, my halfbacks, I'm always putting Never Stumble on as well, so I think that's a great combination between Energizer and Never Stumble if you guys are trying to find some red chems for your halfbacks out there. Great pro tip there from Goo. Back to the corner route. That's going to be overthrown. That was intended for John Ross. And for Open the guy in the earlier, corner, though, for the guy For the guy earlier that was saying height didn't matter, talk to me. Yeah. And you have a guy who's about three or four inches taller. That's probably a touchdown right there. Yeah, I mean, this certainly was a dot of a pass. The right read to make. He's open in the corner of the end zone. Both defenders falling a little bit short. But the receiver also coming in a little bit short, like you said. Shouts to my guy, Chi-Town Bear, trying to keep me informed tonight. My guy, KB, with three dingers. Sorry for the baseball. I had to get it out of the way. Lamar Jackson back to pass. Nice playmaker. That's going to be Tyreek Hill down to the one. Great completion there by Justin. He's rising to the occasion right now late in the game. When did Tyreek Hill get all this, like, catching traffic all of a sudden? It's pretty crazy uh, the way he's been utilized tonight. But a guy so uh, diverse like Hill, you know, you'll just be able to put him in any situation. That speed is going to bail you out in a lot of those situations. Uh, but Hill's been bailing out some players with some ag catches and some catch and traffics as well tonight. So sometimes we talk about game plans, uh, schemes, route combinations being meta. This is something that's started to become meta tonight. But we haven't seen a whole lot of this in uh, Friday Night Football's prior. A lot of guys are just carrying that one tight end, and then they're pausing, subbing him in at the fullback position, and then they sub him back out afterwards. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of Shannon Sharp at the fullback position tonight, like you you had said, and then subbed back out again. Uh, the sub that's what that's the high level of Madden that I just can't compete on. It's basically all the sub packages and how quick everybody subs in and out players, how many pre play adjustments people make. There is Sharp at fullback on cue, like we just talked about for the touchdown. Um, good little game we've got here, Zan. Sharp right there. We talked about his ability to truck and fall forward. You put him in at that fullback position, just give him the rock. This is the name of the game. I, we, we say stars and scrubs. You only have enough players on your team that can make plays. You have to utilize them every way you can. Chin Sharp is just that. He can play the fullback position. He can play the, the wide receiver yep. position. And, of course, he's one of the best tight ends in the game as well. You know, that's what we talked about is diversity a little bit earlier in the stream. He can block. The man can block. I'm always looking for a good blocking tight end out there, you know, just to seal that edge on any outside runs. Uh, Sharp certainly has enough to get it done as well. Like my friend Rocket said here in the chat, this is a money drive right now for Pavin. Let's see if he can pull it off. Needs to get on the board with six to take this one home. Pavin, of course, your club series champion, looking to pocket another $1,000 in our winner-take-all final. He's got to kind of mount a drive here, though. He's wow, did he get both route. feet down on that one? He did. Did he? He did. First and 10 from the 48-yard line. Some great defense there as well. Uh, basically all over the receiver, still able to come down, get both feet in bounds for the first down. I want to take a quick second and say shout-outs to Swindle Games. Saw you come through here just a minute ago, man. How are you doing? Thanks for coming by tonight. What's up, Swindler? 
A lot of Vic. A lot of Vic scrambling left tonight. Positive yardage. First down and slides to safety. Safe. And you know what? I actually really like him right here using that slide to stay inbounds to keep the clock running. And you see right there, Justin's going to use a timeout. Maybe his defense was a little fatigued. But right here, he's starting to realize he's moving quickly. Pavan, that, or Pavan, that is. And, uh, you know, maybe start to run that clock a little bit more and uh, you know, leave Justin a, a, the least amount of time possible. If he, very confident if somebody were to do that move and just slide down inbounds. Yeah, absolutely. Another nice little catch by Moss. Is that Moss? No, that is not Moss. All these 81s out here tonight uh, on the field, but good enough to get to that free. Like we say, second and one. So many things you can reach into the playbook on se uh, second and one to pull out, whether it's, like we say, it's basically a free play. Chuck it up, see what happens. Come back and make a run for one yard to get a first down if you need to on third and one. Satman08 with the sub via Twitch Prime. Subscribe for four months. Thank you so much for the continued support. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, NorCal Navy Mike. We're struggling tonight, man. Everybody is learning together the correct. I said Pavin. No, no, no. You're good. Uh, am you're I good, good the, now? The chat is correcting us, okay. saying we're wrong. So. And no, am I right or am I wrong? You're right. Now? You're right. Okay. 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 Good. Good. I, I'm going to nail this. I was. I'm, I told you for my guy out there, Pavin. I have to get it right. No disrespect. We got to put some respect on my guy's name. He has a belt. The least we could do is pronounce his name correctly, I mean, right? The only thing that's making me feel all right about it is that Rico, basically for two days straight, couldn't get it right. So <laughs> <laughs> double coverage right there. Could not come down with the ball. We're still on the 28-yard line. Fourth and one big play right here, Zan. Could come down to this. Big fourth and one here. And now Pavin, he's going to stay in the gun bunch. Audibles it to the bunch being the wide side of the field. Thinking right here, you got to watch the backside crosser. He's got it all covered. Three-man rush. Good playmaker. Still covers it. All Look day. at the lurking skills. And he finds the receiver come back. That's going to be illegal touching. His receiver touched the back of the end zone. Is and came that back turnover to on downs with the penalty? Unbelievable turn of events there, Zan. What a shame. Was definitely in striking distance. Definitely an amazing drive right there. Just makes the one mental mistake. Justin now back with the ball on Pavin's 28-yard line in real control right now. I feel I feel terrible right there for Pavin because, I mean, it's very tough. That play was extended. It was, you know, a 7, 8, 9, 10. You're still in the pocket. How are you supposed to remember which receiver stepped out of bounds three seconds into the play? You know, uh, you, you just can't. see an open guy after scanning the field for 10 seconds, and you get a penalty. Yeah, it's a that's, very, very tough break. You hate to see it, Zan. Like you said, it's, sometimes you lose sight of those receivers. Can't see, you know, who has stepped out of bounds, who has come back in. You know, we saw a lot of camera angles last night from the community guys, that zoomed out camera angle. Uh, I bet they were wishing they had that zoomed out <laughs> camera angle right there. But he does have a couple timeouts left. He needs to stand up and play some defense right here. He is not out of this game yet. That's a that's a bad beat there. You got to admit that that's rough to rough to watch. But we've got uh, Justin on the drive here, 29 yard line, second and nine, winding down the fourth quarter, and this game is going to be in the books pretty soon here. John Ross with the speed and just threading the needle between the two defenders in the secondary. So now, right now, with the timeout situation for Pavin, he's basically got one stoppage left that's going to leave him a little bit under 30 seconds tops if he were to get a stop here. Oh, man. So oh, oh, my fumble. God. He's going to recover it. Rod Woodson oh. dives on it, and he's going to be <sighs> called down. Maybe a little bit of karma. Right, I wouldn't say karma, but, you know, it just comes around for Pavin. Give him one more shot with a minute 30 to go. And that is some instant karma, as we like to call it, Zan. I mean, unbelievable turn of events. Mixon usually very reliable, carrying the ball right there, coughs it up in a very dire situation, going up and getting the one-handed catch. Pavin. Comes down with it at the 23-yard line. 19 of 34. Not the completion percentage Pavin's looking for, but it doesn't matter now. He's got one drive to make this worth, and that is Terrell Owens' ninth catch of the ballgame, 150 yards. He's been the guy moving the chains all game for the Jags. Yeah, I mean, we've got Pavin in striking range right here. I think with that, that is a huge momentum swing with that fumble, and Pavin's got all the energy right now. LSU Tiger says, yeah, and, and Justin had the unfortunate – 
doink kick that cost him $1,000 a few weeks ago. So it's been a rough couple weeks here for Justin, but he's got a shot. He's got to stand up and play some defense here. Only a minute 10 to go. And if he can get the stop, he's going to win this ball game. Not enough timeouts in the bank for Pavin. So just stand tall if you're Justin. Yeah, good decision there to scramble with Vic and slide in safe for second and one on the 14-yard line. Love this second and one. You can just reach into the playbook and pull anything out. Let's see what he goes with. Going to spread it out. Inside zone call. Got the blocks on the outside, down inside the 10 to the 4-yard line. There is that late-game clutch tackling by Deion Sanders that we talked about right there. Deion not known for his tackling, but in late-game situations, Zan has educated me that he has that clutch trait that late in the fourth quarter, you're going to see a tackle like a possible game-saving tackle like that. A lot of times players will look at cards at face value and they'll say, you know what, I'm out on that. I'm going to go with Ramsey over Dion because Ramsey can tackle, he can hit, he can force fumbles. But a lot of times that clutch factor is huge because it, it'll override some of those you know, those shortcomings that a player will have. And you see Dion right there. If he's a sure tackler inside the two-minute warning, I'll deal with his, his weakness outside the two-minute warning. Yeah, he's going absolutely. to make those plays for you. Yep, and that could have been a game-saving tackle. We'll see here in a few plays. Coming back out on the four-yard line. Time is ticking. We're under 30 seconds. First and goal. Can Pavin get out of here with the dub? Jumbo formation. Here's the stretch call. Walks, Walks in, in for the, for the touchdown. Down. Let's go. You love, I love to see that, Zan, because of just the fluky uh, penalty and, and uh, being able to come back, keep his wits about him, keep uh, patient, and just play his game. Did not get out of his scheme there whatsoever and walks it in 27-24. to 24. Now, this was something that would have been a tough decision earlier in the year, but a lot of these kicks do leave the back of the end zone. We'll see if he decides to kick it deep here and risk a kickoff return. So here, oh, we're going to get a shot, Tyreek Hill. Wow. Here we go. Wow, I didn't think he was going to give him a shot, dude. This is the most dangerous man on the return field right now. Gets it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Not bad field position. Better than taking the knee back there in the 25. So he picked him up. So five extra yards. Ladies and gentlemen, this game is not over. We can get in the field goal position here at that 30-yard line. Kick the field goal for the tie. I don't know. Who's he got a kicker out there, man? With salary cap again, we're talking. <sighs> But, did, but did the four, was the five yards worth the four seconds? We're now down to eight seconds on the clock. Yeah, absolutely. And dropped pass right there. Second and ten. It looked like he might have come, and down, come down with that one for a second. Eight seconds on the clock. This is do or die right here. We need a, he needs a long pass. Get out of bounds. Get the uh, unit on the field. Or just go for pay dirt and win this thing. I think you got to look to the middle of the field here. He's definitely going to bail to the corner. He's going to throw the post. Oh spins my. back to the outside, and now he's going to have to use that timeout, but he's going to have a shot at the end zone here. He really is. That was not. That was a great move there by Moss to get to back to the outside and get. It looked like he squeezed uh, two extra yards out there with that with that spin, and that could be quintessential right now. Bunch to the short side of the field. Last play of the game. Pressure and Pavin is going <sighs> to hold on for the victory. Amazing there. I, you know, I, uh, no way.